What's up, dude? Hi, how are you? I'm all right. I'm not crying, so I'm okay. How are you? <laughs> yeah, fallen for the music. It's easy to fall for. I mean, uh, I know the Notion EP is what we got right now, but it's uh, uh, seriously cool That's music. actually all I've got as well. <laughs> yeah, it's going sick, man. I wouldn't trade it for anything else because I can't do anything else. So I'm just going to like, stick it bitch. How's the whole thing felt right now? Because from the outside, it, it it certainly feels like this all started in earnest like a year ago, and it's been a complete roller coaster. Uh, at least that's what it looks like. Um, it started a long time ago, and then the last kind of year and a half has been pretty nuts. Yeah. But it's dope. <laughs> I mean, have you been Loving able it. to keep control of the whole thing, or is it is it just really one of those stories where, you know, just hang on for the ride? Um, this is all I've wanted to do, and this is all I know how to do, so, like, I'm just ready for the whole thing. Yeah. Because I can't do anything else, so just throw it at me. It's just being thrown at me, and I love it. It's sick. Get to go play all across the world. Why? I can't complain. Got a few early starts, a few late nights, but I'm not working in an office, so I'm pretty sweet. Well, as we're all getting to know you, you do have a really cool backstory, and from what I gather, it starts at three years old. Is that yeah. is that true? Did you like learn guitar, or was that just you picking up a guitar and, and fiddling around with it? I learned it? it straight away. I learned it straight away. I got given it, and I never put it down. Yeah. My grandfather gave me that guitar. Uh, he died not long ago, but um, yeah, kind of started from there. How quick did That's you write your first that, song? I don't know. They sound like <laughs> shit when you fall. <laughs> <laughs> now they sound kind of good, and it took yeah. me um, majority of my life to get to get them there. But it's sick, man. I get to travel the world and play in front of people that I've never met before for the first time. Music connecting is what that is. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, it's just a whole bunch of connectedness. It just connects people across the world into one tiny room where people don't use their phones and they're completely present for like an hour and a half. And that's great because you don't get that anymore. I know a lot of artists yeah. are kind of... Uh, or not a lot of them, but there are condemn some artists. Condemn the phone who, Yeah, thing? they condemn the phones. They say, come on, you know. And I, I sort of respect it, actually. It's, it's, I don't have to worry about gr- going for it because, you know, it is an addiction. It is. I think anything, human nature is addiction. We just always consistently find things to fiddle with or things to do instead of actually just being. Like, people just replace addiction with another addiction. Yeah. Like, they need to be entertained to be weaned off the addiction. Whatever it is, phone, ciggies. Alcohol, drugs, <laughs> drugs to alcohol, or vice versa. I like being that musical part of things where people put their phone down and watch me instead. Well, I, like I mean, to be that ent- entertainment. With your backstory of, of busking and everything, there's got to be some talent that comes from having to be thrown out on the street and just having to get in people's face, I guess. Or, or I don't know. I mean, did, yeah. is, was that how it was for you? It's called toughening the f- up and just dealing with whatever comes at you. And if you play shit, well, then you play because you can't hide it because you're on the street. And, and these songs that are on the EP, I mean, are those the songs that you, know, that you were doing out there on the streets? Have they been around that long? Mm-hmm. Yeah, been around a little bit. Like how many changes have they gone through since then? Or were you able to sort of hone in on it from the beginning? Every single time I play a song, I play it completely differently. Oh, really? <laughs> I don't even know. I don't even know what they sound like on that. <laughs> EP anymore because they're playing so differently. How did you end up with the reggae sound? It's just not, you know, I mean, I, you can do it anywhere in the world. It's just not, you know, I don't know. I wouldn't think of it coming out of Australia or something like that. Bro, Australia's got one of the biggest reggae scenes in the world. Is it true? See, I don't know that, though. That's not That's not what I get. Like, all the no, stuff that comes out that I hear about is... That, you just get certain selection for radio, but that's like anywhere in the world. But like being in the physical place, man, it's we've got heaps of soul roots, reggae. I mean, is that why you, you found it? It was just because of the scene? You know, no, it found me. I'm not a reggae artist. I'm just an artist that sure. has no genre. That is whatever I feel like writing or playing. I could write a ballad on the piano if I wanted or I could make something sounding Middle Eastern or something a bit reggae, something a bit soul. It's just whatever I feel like. And, uh, yeah, and I, I don't want to say that I was kind of pigeonholing you that way either. I mean, No, I didn't think you were. I was just making a statement. Yeah. I mean, that first single, when it comes out with, with Jungle, and, you know, you kind of have that sound. It's, it's, it's what it was. It was just surprising to me. And like, Yeah. Oh. I love reggae music. And that yeah. was when I was in that mood. <laughs> <laughs> it's a freaking but cool song. But then the other stuff on there is not so reggae. Yet it's more soul. And Notion is beautiful, by the way. Completely beautiful Thank song. Thank you. Um, it's time to play. I mean, you don't have to... I know some artists don't like to give them the backstory, the personal stuff. But, I, you know, if it's a breakup song or a relationship song, it's... Yeah, it was. 
Yeah, I mean, it's definitely it, was one of those. I said I'm never going to write one of those songs, <laughs> but you know, then you get your heart broken and there's nothing else to do, so you just write a song. You did it well. <laughs> I mean, it's the Thanks. lyrics in it and the mood in it's great too, but the lyrics are they cut, they cut deep right away. Yeah, I think my ex is probably sick of hearing that song on the radio now. <laughs> That's the best like, way. I get it. <laughs> I get it. If we but, all had that you know. power with a song, I mean, if you've got the power, that's but really good. I didn't good. think about it in that way. She's like, it's not non escapable for her. <laughs> oh, well, it happens. She'll have her own story later. Yeah. But it won't. She can't sing, so it's not going to be a song. <laughs> Lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> What happens next for you, though? Because it, it, it is the EP right now. Is there an LP on the way? Because got one I, coming out next year. I have a full-length album. Actually, the EP is a full-length album, but it's actually six songs. I just do, you know, I saw Kanye West just make his songs as long as he wanted, and I thought, you know, I'm doing that too. I mean, you can put out however many songs you want. It's just once you become a fan, uh, I want more. That's that's really the only reason I'm yeah. asking. I just want but more. But I think it's kind of good doing minimal because then you only have minimal and you really want the more instead of you putting out the maximum and then you like kind of, kind of dry, creatively dry in your next direction. I think drip feeding is a better way to do it. It's worked better for me that way. Well, it's, I'm baited anyway, so it must be working. So good job there. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, it's been a pleasure talking to you, but I do appreciate it. And I do love the music, so I can't wait to hear more whenever it comes, but I'll enjoy this one while I got it. Nice to meet you. You too. Bye. Bye.